Uh, let me, you know, we mentioned a reentry permit. I want to talk about that because it's something that's really important to do nowadays. It's an issue that's coming up a lot. You know, if you're a green card holder, you're not supposed to really be outside the United States for six months and really, really not supposed to be out for more than a year. They're usually pretty flexible, but you don't want to mess around. And so what happens is sometimes people need to go outside, go back to their home country, for example, for a bit. They're cleaning up, you know, have a court case or they're selling the house and they need to deal with that. So uh, what we do is we apply for what's called the reentry permit, Form I-131. It's a form of travel document. The form is I-131. And you're telling the government beforehand that I'm going to be outside for an extended period of time. Please, uh, you know, forgive us. Don't create problems for us. I'm not abandoning my green card. And most, most of the time, um, uh, they're pretty flexible about it and, and that they give it. And so uh, that's easy as that, but a couple of notes. When you do file for a reentry permit, you have to physically be inside the United States. If you're not in the United States when it's submitted in the hands of the government, then they will easily deny the case. There's nothing you can do about it. Secondly, there usually is a fingerprinting appointment that comes up as well. So you need to be there for the fingerprinting appointment. And so that's another reason you got to stay in the U.S. And like when things like coronavirus happen, when they shut down the fingerprinting appointments, um, there's a delay until that happens. So it really messes up with your travel plans, having to come back and forth. So this coronavirus situation really messed stuff up. Now the reentry permit itself has nothing to do with U.S. citizenship. It's only intended to maintain residency in the U.S. by telling the government beforehand that I'm going to be out, uh, absent. Uh, but for citizenship, having absences of more than six months or even multiple absences of four or five months can lead to a denial if the officer wants it to. So just because you have a reentry permit, it doesn't have any effect on applying for citizenship. Uh, they're unrelated factors in, in both of that. Um, now, the, the reentry permit itself, uh, the form is, you know, five or $600. It's not a complicated form. It's only five pages. Uh, they would probably be increasing that. You have to specify that the reason why you're traveling, what dates you are, and all that kind of stuff. And usually they give you like two years for the first one, two years for the second one, and then one year intervals for the following ones. But it depends on how long you've been outside the United States in the last five years or since you got your green card. There's a calculation involved there that they look into. And when the travel permit, uh, the reentry permit is issued, it's kind of like a booklet, it's kind of like a passport, and it can act as a green card substitute. Let's say you have a, tra uh, a travel document reentry permit and you lose your green card, uh, that could be a substitute to let you back in the United States. So the airlines may not understand that uh, that is the case. Now it's really important people get this because this coronavirus really is an example of this. People went back to their home country going on a three or four month trip and all of a sudden the airlines are shut down, their family's sick, they don't want to leave and they're out seven, eight, nine months or something like that. And so I always tell people if, if there is some travel back and forth to a home country that's going to be more than a week long vacation, you should just apply for the reentry permit and have that. And it's better to be safe than later on have an accusation of abandonment of status. So it's really important to think about the reentry permit and have that in your plans once you get a green card if there's any trial plans happening.